This is the first vaccination that each of our employees will get. They will get the second vaccination in a month. You get instructions on how to use this from the manufacturer, but they don't tell you how to vaccinate a population of people. Eva's gonna be in the lab making sure that the doses are right, that the vaccine is ready for the next batch. We really wanna see how long does this take? Where are the bottlenecks? You have to make sure that the vaccine meets the proper handling and storage conditions, how to time everything, how to get people here. There's a lot involved in, in getting this done. So we average 300 a day at this location. It's been a learning experience, but I think we've got the machine down. Five and six. We're trying to come up with small things throughout the day to make it roll by faster. We have the vials here, so at the end we can count those and count again here on our log and then count again with the front desk, so you know, to make sure everything matches and we've always been 100%. I was gonna ask you if you think any of your staff would be good for them to have access to the vaccine and working with your population. We have a partner that works with seniors so uh, we reached out to them and said, hey, we have six uh, expiring doses available. So the folks that are getting the Pfizer vaccine down at the end of the hall are actually folks that work with uh, senior citizens. So that we're actually getting it in people's arms that are gonna continue the good work during the pandemic. Here you have the opportunity to be a solution to a problem that's affecting the world. So, I mean, you feel really blessed to be a part of this project.